Hello and welcome to Mind Your Moments. My name is Hetty and I am eight years old. My mummy works for IFS in Singapore and I'm going to be your host this week. I'm joining you today to talk to Helen from England about working for IFS that I call the International Friendship Station. Welcome to the show, Helen. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you, Hetty. Thank you for having me. How are you? Good. <laughs> So uh, today, all I want to do is ask a little bit of questions about what IFS does and yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we have about, I think it's five questions that I would um, like want to ask you. So, okay. Uh, number one is how many people work for IFS? Oh, uh, good question. I think it is just over 4,000 people at the moment. Um, but I think the main thing to note from that number is actually 34% of our employees are women, which is very high in the tech sector. So that's good. Oh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> how, and um, the second one is, how old do you have to be to work for IFS? Well, I, I think that largely depends on where is your where where you are in the world what it is you, you want to do but probably at the moment hetty you're a little bit too young but oh, maybe in sort of 10 years time or so oh man <laughs> uh, number three why is it important to have women working in technology Ooh, why is it important to have women well i think it's important I mean, it's important to have women. It's important to have diversity in your workforce. So that can be obviously women, but it can be a diverse group of people. So people from different communities, different cultures, different races, different backgrounds, as much diversity as you possibly can. And the reason why that's good is that all of those different people will have lots of different ideas. They have lots of different skills. They have lots of different abilities. So actually by bringing people together in a really, really diverse group, you'll get better ideas, you'll get easier decision making. And I think it's really exciting. And actually it allows people to learn from one another as well, which is cool. Okay, so um, um, number four is, what subjects do I need to learn at school so that once I turn um, my mum's age, I can also work by this? Ah, well, I guess that, but what would you like to do? I think you should come and work in marketing because that's absolutely the best department, but your mum may say otherwise. I want to I want to do what mum's doing. All right, so you you bet ask your mum what you need to do to be an HR um because she will obviously know far better than me. However, the one thing I would say is whatever you choose to do, the most important thing is to make sure it's something that you enjoy because then work won't feel like work, it'll feel like something actually you're looking forward to doing. Well, um I'm also learning Chinese, so if I'm if I'm learning Chinese, is it good to have like another another language in IFS. Definitely. It's good to have another language anywhere in the world. And it's my biggest regret is that I can only speak English. So I think that's a really great skill, especially something like Chinese, because actually that's a really, really difficult language to learn. Uh, so um, I think the last question is number five. Um, and if IFS didn't stand for International Friendship Station, which I made up, what would it stand for? Oh, so I think, and again, I've actually had to go and double check this. I think it originally stood for Industrial and Financial Systems. But we don't tend to use that anymore. We just use IFS. However, I much prefer the International Friendship Station. Um, so... and lastly, I've got a question for you, actually, Hetty. I was going to ask... Do you think Avocado would like to come and work for IFS? <laughs> um, let's hear it from Avocado. <laughs> um, Hi, Avocado. Hi. Would you like to come and work for IFS? Well, well I don't know. I'm a little bit too short. <laughs> I'm a little purple, bit too purple's cute. Purple's not your colour. I'm a little bit too cute. Ah. Nice to meet you, Avocado. Bye. 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 <laughs> so, why do you like working for IFS? That's a really good question. I really like working for IFS because it's 
it's the culture. It's the people that make it for me. And I think it's a great company. It's growing. So there's an opportunity to grow in terms of my career and try and do different things. But the, on a the day-to-day -day basis, the thing that I really enjoy the most are the people that I get to work with, my colleagues, my friends, and actually feeling part of a team. And that's really important to me. Thank you for joining my Feel Moments. Please let us know your feedback and join us next week for another episode. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for hosting, Hetty. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> has, a, has a kid ever done this before like this? Has a kid